So as you can probably tell, I'm a little happy today. I'm coming back to my roots a little bit with this post, as it's not something I typically do now. In the past, I've had to connect to Exchange Online a bunch, so I made a blog post about this for my previous team. But I don't really perform these tasks anymore. But the command line utility has just had a few updates, so I needed to reflect that on my blog post. And if you wanted to read that blog post and get all the commands ready to just copy and paste, then visit my blog post using the links below. And before we jump in, I think we should just cover off some basic terminology. So what exactly is Microsoft Exchange Online? Well, this is an alternative to having the Exchange server run locally on your premises. Exchange Online also integrates into the wider Microsoft 365 suite of applications. And finally, you might hear the term EXO or EXO. This is simply an abbreviation for Exchange Online. Now, why would we want to connect to Exchange Online using PowerShell? Why can't I just use the admin panel? Well, say you want to add an alias to 100 mailboxes. Who in their right mind wants to do that manually? So what we do instead is we use PowerShell and we can script that. So the first task is that we need to open PowerShell as administrator. And that's because we need higher privileges to actually install the Exchange Online management module. So to do this, we can just search for PowerShell and run as administrator. Now, once we have PowerShell open, what we can do is type in this command, and this will check if the Exchange Online Management module has already been installed. And for me, I get no output, so we're good to move forward. Now, if that last command did give you an output, then you might already have this module installed. So what you can do is run this command just to update it. And if you've got no output like me, what you can do is run this command to actually install the module. Once that's installed, what you can do is run the get module command again, and you should get an output similar to this. And I can also show you the update command as well. Now I've just installed it so there won't be any changes, but at least you can see it in action. Perfect. So now it's installed to connect, we can run this command, and then we'll get prompted to sign in. Just enter your Exchange Online details. What I'll do is I will cancel that because there are some parameters you can pass to this command but they aren't typically used. For example, you can specify a user account with the user principal name parameter or remove the startup banner with show banner false. So now you've connected to Exchange Online, you've done all the work you needed and you want to disconnect. I wouldn't recommend just closing down PowerShell and calling it a day because the connection could still be live. So what you want to do instead is run this command, disconnect to Exchange Online and just press yes to all. Perfect, so that's the Exchange Online module in a nutshell. So right here, I've just covered really the basics of connecting and disconnecting. But if you wanted to know more about the modules, what you can do is run a get command on this specific module, and it will tell you all of the commands that come built into this module. You will probably use get Excel mailbox the most. So as you can see, there are a ton of other commands built into this module, and I'll leave it up to you. To investigate and dive into all of those. So thanks for watching, leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe for future content.